Have you ever taken a photo at sunset and you're getting this beautiful dreamy glow, but you try and replicate it again and it just doesn't work? Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create this dreamy sunset glow effect in your photos just using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And I found this photo on Unsplash, which is a great example. So we've got the sun kind of just peeking behind those rocks. So we're creating this nice glow effect. I'd recommend trying having the sun somewhere in the photo, even if it's slightly hidden. If it's right up in the top of the sky, this glow effect doesn't really work. So sunrise and sunset is a great example. But yeah, a photo like this or a photo with the sun in the photo will work perfectly. So first thing you wanna do, Go to that background layer, I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J. That will duplicate that layer. Next you wanna do is right click on that brand new layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and convert it into a smart object. The reason we're doing this is because we're creating an effect so we can manipulate and change that effect afterwards if you're finding it too weak or too strong. Then what you wanna do is go up to Filter, and you want to go to Blur, then you want to go to Gaussian Blur. Now the blur amount that you want is 80 pixels. So we're gonna go ahead and select that, and all you need to do is go ahead and click OK. And now we've got this new blur layer. Then what you want to do is go to our blending modes on that new layer, and we're gonna go ahead and change that down to screen. Already you can see it's created this very glowy effect, but the main problem is it's affecting the entire photo. So what we want to do is just affect where it's coming, where the sun is, and then we want to kind of have it radiating outwards and slowly disappearing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically use a radial gradient. So what we're gonna do, select that layer here, we're gonna go down and create a layer mask, then what you want to do is invert that layer mask. So at the moment it's white, which means it's showing. So we want to convert it to black. And the easiest way to do that, simply go ahead and press Command I. That will make it invisible. Then what we're gonna do is add it in. So with that layer mask selected, go over to your gradient tool, making sure you've got your radial gradient selected. Go ahead and select your gradient. And what we want to do is create a gradient that is white, and then on the top here, goes from opacity of 100 to opacity of 0%. So it slowly graduates from strong all the way to nothing. So from 100 all the way to zero. Then what you want to do is find out where your sun is in the photo. So I'm gonna go here and then you want it radiating outwards. And as you can see, we've created this effect. Now, if you're finding it too strong or not strong enough, you can go ahead and add to your gradient like so or what you can do is go to your opacity slider here and simply drop that down. I think I'm gonna drop it down to around 80% in this particular case. But yeah, I am really happy with the photo. So what I can do is show you the before and then show you the after. And then you see it creates this beautiful sun glow effect without it affecting the entire photo, making it look a lot more realistic. Here is the before and here is the after. And if this particular effect worked for you, write it down in the comments below.